Minister for Health, Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac, along with a delegation, recently taught the Victoria Hospital, which is being transformed into a full-scale respiratory hospital. Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac says she is very pleased with the work being done on the respiratory hospital and hope it will assist in handling a possible surge of COVID-19 in St. Lucia. I'm hoping that we will be able to use this facility to contain the virus, to manage the virus and to treat the virus, which is what we have been doing. But um, we have not been as, um, as focused as we would like to be in terms of having the proper facility. So this facility is going to give us an opportunity to have a better place to bring um, these potential you know, cases and for us to take care of these cases in a very nice facility. It is looking, it's already looking very, very nice. Um, the rooms I saw, the size of the rooms, the rooms have their own toilet in most cases, or sometimes a person may be sharing a toilet with somebody else. But it's looking excellent from now, from, from you know, what I have seen. Chief Health Planner Dwight Calix spoke on the need for government to undertake this project of significant importance. As part of the um, COVID response, um, we had to um, get an intervention where we could um, appropriately manage our patients. So there's quarantine, um, there's isolation, and so on. So the respiratory facility was that response which would have um, managed in terms of our quarantine patients, but those quarantine patients which would have required medical attention. So our quarantine facility um, in the north we take care of those persons um, who are the suspect cases waiting for um, their results. Um, this facility would be the same suspect cases waiting for results but require, require medical attention. Executive Director of OKEUH and Victoria Hospital, Nancy Francis, highlighted the management of the works undertaken as to ensure the smooth running of the project. We have construction, ongoing construction works over at the respiratory hospital. At the same time, we have patients coming to receive care. So we have to ensure that the logistics is carefully coordinated between our project team, the contractor, and the World Bank team. So we have on ground our hospital engineer who's working very closely with Skelly Construction, as well as the oversight committee from the World Bank. So on a daily basis, the, our project engineer will be in contact with Skelly Construction so they can look at the logistics for the day. And from a management perspective, every single day we have a manager on ground at the respiratory hospital to ensure that things are done, where things are coordinated in the right way and we, have, and we are able to respond to any emergencies that may that may arise. The Victoria Hospital is designed to treat patients with respiratory illnesses such as COVID-19 and will have the capacity of 85 rooms. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune.